In all the routines that I've ever done, I've never done a hand routine. Oh, I, I want to, is to be close to you. Hands are a really important part of your body. They can be kind of neglected at times, but they really tell a lot about a person. This is probably going to be the only hand care routine that you guys will ever need to watch because I am going to cover all of my bases in not just hygiene, tips, advice, how they can look good, how you can take better care of them, anti-aging methods. I'm going to go over all of the things that I do. I also want to say that if you were not blessed with beautiful hands, first of all, I think all hands are beautiful, but let's just say you are insecure about your hands. These tips will take it to the next level for you. You don't have to be born with perfect hands to have a good hand care routine or a good hygiene routine. Please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and let me know your favorite hand care product. All right. Let's get into the video. We're gonna start with hygiene because this to me is always at the top of my list. The smell of your hands really matters. Now I wanna paint this picture for you because I've been you know, around the block, I've met a lot of people, and I must say that there are a lot of people that I've met that have smelly hands. I've had my makeup done before, I've had my hair done before, I've been in somebody's vicinity where I felt like they were just not smelling good. You can have cigarette fingers, you can have pizza fingers, you can have joint. And to be honest, they do mess up somebody's perception of you. If they smell bad, it's just gonna throw off your entire appearance no matter how beautiful your hands are. So let's talk about hand washing. I have two soaps that I swear by, and I mean swear, swear, swear by. I've tried them all during quarantine, as I'm sure many of you have, because we have been washing our hands quite a bit. Now, I want to mention, not only do these soaps cover up the nasty smell that you could have on your hands, but they also do not dry your hands out, which is so important for me when having beautiful hands. I want my hands to be moisturized. So we're gonna start with the inexpensive option first, which is the Raw Sugar Simply Hand Wash. And I actually have this one in green tea, cucumber, and aloe vera. The Raw Sugar Hand Soaps, they all are amazing. Literally, I have every single one. I have the watermelon, I have the vanilla, I have this one. I've tried them all, they're all amazing. When you lather them into your hands, you notice that they do not dry out your hands. They actually kind of feel like they have an oily feel to it, but it doesn't leave your hands slippery or slimy or oily after you rinse off the product. It just gives that nice moisturizing feeling. I also wanna add that these smell amazing. So if you just got done eating pizza and you need to like wash your hands really quick and you wanna make sure that they are going to smell good and it's gonna be stripped from all of the stench that you left on them, this will be the soap for you and it's very necessary. The next soap that we're gonna talk about is the Jo Malone soaps. Now, these are extremely expensive, they're ridiculous. I actually keep these in my guest bath, but I use it almost every single day. And it is the Peony and Blush Suede hand wash and these also are extremely moisturizing and they smell like perfume, which is amazing because if you are trying to really give your hands a nice deep clean, you want them to smell good, you want them to feel good, you want them to smell for hours on end, this is the soap for you. I wash my hands with this at 9 a.m. and I can still smell the hand soap on my hand at one in the afternoon. It's that good. It's a perfume for your hands that's moisturizing and cleans them. And I must add that I have met and it's kind of like painful to even think about, but I have met people who I would be chatting with them and I noticed that underneath their fake nails, they had some type of food caking up under there. I want to mention how important it is to make sure that you don't have food residue on your nails, makeup residue, you need to wash your hands all the time. What I do after eating is I actually take a paper towel and I will stick it under all of my nails and clean them out. And then when I get a chance to wash my hands, I will. Can you imagine going on a date and a guy seeing a burger or pizza or something under your nail that you forgot to get out? And I'm sure a lot of you guys are saying, oh my God, Haley, this is a given. Of course people are gonna wash their hands. But I'm telling you, there have been times where I've seen people who have not gotten rid of stuff underneath their nails. So I'm reiterating it just in case you maybe forgot. Moisturizing in the winter is so crucial. I don't know exactly where all of you guys live, but I live in New Jersey, so it is a cold, dry 
winter. I hate dry winters. My skin completely dries out. My hands and my feet get cracked. My self-care routine actually has to just step it up a little bit. And I don't mind. It's just a little bit extra work. So we're going to talk about hand creams. Um, you'd be surprised to know that I've used the same hand cream since I was probably in middle school. It's the Neutrogena Norwegian hand cream. Now this one isn't even in English. I picked this one up off of Amazon, but there is an English version. There's nothing better than Norwegian hand cream. I'm telling you right now, I've tried it all. And something about the consistency of this hand cream, it's just like Vaseline almost, but it's Vaseline for your hands. So it doesn't leave them oily. It doesn't leave a residue. It doesn't leave an odor. If you are trying to do more of a odorless, chemical-free, like, I don't know. Some people don't like smells on their hands. This is the perfect one for you. It's fragrance free is what I'm trying to say. So it's amazing. It's the best hand cream on the market and it's obviously affordable. You can pick this up at Amazon, Target. I also have this Toka Montauk Hand Lotion in Salt Air Cucumber. Another one of my favorites. I don't use it as often because it's a little bit more pricey, but I do keep this in my bathroom and I love to use this directly after I use my Jo Malone hand soap. I just think that they really go nice together and your hands just smell like a resort. There's something to be said when little things on you smell good. Like I'll wash my hands in the morning after using the bathroom and I'll be walking around my house kind of tidying things up and I'll just get like whiffs of just my hands and I'm like, mm, what's that smell? And then I realize, girl, it's your hands. Now I don't wanna leave out my psoriasis girls or my eczema girls. I actually struggle with very, 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 very minor psoriasis. I sometimes get it on my legs. Um, depending on the season change, but I actually purchased these gloves from Amazon and I've used them before I just got a new pack and they are cotton gloves and essentially what it does is it assists in the absorption of creams and ointments So if you have a medicated cream for your psoriasis or your eczema or you really want to just lather on a good lotion and let it absorb into the skin These gloves essentially help with that So if you don't mind wearing a glove to bed at night and you want your lotion to seep in even if you have cracked knuckles or just a kind of what are those called when you get like those blisters on your hands from weights you can put some lotion on and put the cotton gloves on and it will like go away in the morning you are going to see it's literally magic I personally think that constantly moisturizing your hands can be a little bit negative depending on what you're using my boyfriend personally struggles with his hands getting drier the more he applies product so I would suggest to limit your product usage if you notice that that's an issue but I will say that I do apply majority of these hand lotions daily and I haven't seen an issue with my hands getting drier as time goes on but sometimes hands can be like lips where if you apply too much chapstick to your lips they can get drier with time you don't want your hands to have to be dependent you want your hands to recover and medically get better so I do find that these are amazing but if you need a medical grade for your hands I would suggest aquaphor I find that that works wonders <laughs> do actually worry about aging when it comes to my hands because they always say the two things that people notice aging signs on are your neck and your hands. If I can stunt the aging process any way I can, I will. And of course, everyone knows the way to stunt aging is with sunscreen. And it's so important to put sunscreen on your hands. Yes, it's winter. Yes, you're in the sun very little, but think about it. When you're driving in the car and you're texting on your phone and the sun is coming through your dashboard, Dashboard, you are going to age in your hands. So I do apply sunscreen as much as possible. This is actually from the brand Super Goop, and they do have hand cream for your hands and it has sunscreen in it. So they do have that, but since I already have the sunscreen, I didn't feel like it was that much of a difference, but I like to just apply this to the tops of my hands, my knuckles, and all the way down to my fingers like this. And I will apply it when I go into the car or when I know I'm gonna be outside. It can't hurt. And it's important to worry about this because I know that when we're older, we're gonna be thanking ourselves for taking better care of our hands. Let's talk about special occasions and if you're gonna be going to some important dinner or a birthday party or it could be anything that is more formal. Let me talk to first my Caucasian women. I know you guys love to tan, self tan and all of that. There's nothing worse than a beautiful self tanned body and white hands. 
just kind of like not matching your neck to your face when you do foundation. So even me myself, I love to use body tinted moisturizers to just even out my tone when I'm going out. And I personally use the Vita Liberata Body Blur in Latte Dark. And if I know I'm gonna be going out and I need to make sure that my arms match my hands or my neck to match my hands or whatever it is, I will apply a very small amount of this to the tops of my hands with a brush. And it will just allow me to match my skin a little bit better, but I definitely do notice it more on fair toned skin women. So definitely make sure that you're putting yourself tanner on your hands and rinsing it off quickly so it doesn't look too orange. But I definitely think that it's important to have a cohesive matching skin tone all throughout and not like huge major differences. I also think if you're a little bit insecure about your hands and maybe they're a little veiny or you have a scar on them or something, this is a great way to just cover it up if you are feeling insecure. I would always suggest to embrace your flaws because they are beautiful, but I know that in a perfect world, that's what we would want. But every once in a while, we wanna just feel beautiful without the constant worrying about our insecurities. So I would say that if you are struggling with, you know, your hands looking a little bit veiny at one point, or there's a scar or a beauty mark that you don't like, these are amazing. I wouldn't suggest to put on full on makeup because they'll look crazy and people will be able to touch them and see. But if it's a tinted moisturizer, it's like perfect and it gives you that glowy vibe that you want. Let's talk about my favorite part of my hand care routine, which is my nails. I take pride and joy in my nails. I have been getting my nails done since seventh grade, maybe the sixth grade, the sixth grade. I have my nails done for a very long time. And during quarantine was the only time in my life that I didn't have nails. It was kind of a struggle, but nails are important. And I usually do recommend different nail shapes, but let's just be for real. Depending on your fingers is you'll know what nail shape works for your hands. Me personally, I tend to have kind of stubby fingers when my nails are short and square. So I think the almond shape, the stiletto shape, any type of long skinny shape looks very good on my hands and they just look more beautiful and elegant and feminine. That's me personally, but I've seen girls who have done the short square and their nails look amazing. And of course I will always recommend neutral tone colors for the nails only because they match everything you wear. But if you are a bold, loud person and you like to wear more color, then go ahead and put more color on your nails. I've been loving my nails. I've been getting them done differently recently and I've been loving the way that I've been getting them done because they just look more classy and fun. And I do wanna mention that I have my entire life shaved my knuckles and my hand right here and there's nothing wrong with that. Let's normalize body hair in weird places. And yeah, there sometimes is hair on our hands. And if it makes you feel more comfortable to get rid of it, go ahead and do it. If you like it there, then keep it. I've seen girls do both and it kind of depends on what kind of vibe you're going for. I'm always going for a bald vibe, okay? I wanna be a hairless cat at all times. But I will say that if you are waiting for someone to tell you, girl, you can shave your knuckles if you want to. Well, here I am telling you. <laughs> Last but not least, accessorize. Accessorize with rings and jewelry. Again, this really feminizes your look. It makes your hands look more intentional. It goes nicely with certain outfits. It just looks like you tried that day. You have your nails on, you have your moisturizing on, and now you have your rings and your jewelry and even a bracelet really makes the hand look good. So I would suggest to get some really nice jewelry. I will actually link some down below where I get all my rings. I feel more put together when I have rings on. So I definitely think that it helps make the hands look less bald and less boring. And let's just say you don't have your nails done that week. It will just be a nice distraction. So I definitely think jewelry will turn your look from like an eight out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 for sure. Okay guys, I think I covered my bases on everything that has to do with hands. If I left anything out, leave it down below a question and I will answer it to you promptly. I love talking about self care and things that I do to my body because it's important and sometimes people need the reassurance or the advice or the tips or even just wanna know and curious what another person does. That's me, I'm nosy, I like to know what other people do. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this routine. Let me know if you guys have any of these products already and I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.